the day and it said which one is harder for you to do is it letting go moving on or starting over and I thought about it that's a very powerful question because they all take courage and I don't know where you are in your life if you happen to let go <laughs> move on or start over I've experienced all of them. I've had to let go. I've had to move on. And I've started over. And a part of self-love, a part of loving yourself, where you have to let go, move on, and start over is you have to um you have to have tough love when it comes to yourself because um depending on what you're moving on from and depending on what you have to let go of it's gonna hurt to face that wound it's gonna hurt to deal with that wound you know sometimes you know i like to mention scraping your knee or getting stabbed when it comes to us hurting you know because we have emotional pain too and when you have that wound, in order to cleanse that wound, you're going to have to put some alcohol on that thing to cleanse it. And it's going to burn. But it's, it's cleansing you at the same time. It may sting a little bit, but it's helping you. It's helping you heal, you know. And when it comes to moving on and letting go in order to start over, because you can't move on until you let go. And you can't start over until you move on. And in order to do that, you have to have a, 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 a acceptance. You have to be able to accept the situation. Accept the pain of it. Accept what happened. Accept, accept it. Because if you don't accept it, you'll remain stuck in the disappointment of it. You'll be remain stuck of not able to let the situation go because you didn't want it to happen. That's not what you wanted and you're disappointed and you're stuck holding on to the disappointment and the pain and you can't move forward, you can't let go, you can't start over because you're still holding on to the lie, you're still holding on to the illusion, you're still holding on to unforgiveness. So, you gotta have that tough love and you gotta be able to look at the situation. I can't really tell you about a lot of things that I haven't been through, but I have been through heartbreak. I've been through the depression. I've been through the anxiety. I've been through having to let go of people that were no good for me that I didn't want to let go of. I've had to let go. I've, I've been through uh, a broken marriage. I've been through starting over from scratch. After losing my home, my marriage, my job, I lost it all and I had to start over with my baby. From zero, having nothing. That's painful. Imagine losing your job, your home, and your marriage, and yourself. But with the help of God and being real with myself and being truthful with myself. Be truthful how? Well, for me. First of all, you didn't have self-love. And now that you see that hurt people hurt people, you can have a greater awareness that you can't put the blame on everybody. You gotta look at yourself too because you got flaws too. And you hurt others too. You didn't just get hurt, you inflicted pain on others because of your lack of self-love and because of the way that you respond to pain and because of, of, of you responding to pain in, in your shadow energy because you're not healed and you need to heal and you want to be loved 
So you fall and pray to guys that don't want nothing but your body. You, you let them in your life trying to get love from a situation that's supposed to just be hey but you catching feelings with people who just want your body why because you don't love yourself you let people in your life use your body because of your lack of self-love so at the end of the day they couldn't have did what they did to you had you not even opened the door to the men and you opened the door to letting them in because you don't know your value. So being honest with yourself like that, being honest with yourself, uh, hey, you gave your heart to somebody you didn't know. You ignored the red flags when they got mad at you and start ignoring you and started ghosting you. You let that slide and still wanted them. Why? Because you didn't love yourself. You accepted the mistreatment. You saved that and took it. Why? You allowed yourself to get to that place. You allowed yourself to be broken down. You responded to your pain in a negative way. You need to grow. Because when you get self-love, you will never have to worry about toxic people. Because you know how to recognize the red flags and you know how to set boundaries now. You stop reinforcing toxicity because you have self-love now. You gotta have tough love. You gotta put that alcohol. It's gonna stink, but it's gonna cleanse you. It's gonna help you. It's gonna help you make better decisions. It's gonna help you let go. It's gonna help you let go. And it's gonna help you move on. Because that's your lesson. Your lesson was self love. Your lesson was self love love. Now you can start over and God will rebuild you just like he revealed me. He will restore you just like he restored me. I love you. You can do it. With the help of God. God bless you. Yes.